Hi kids, today we're doing science and we're going to learn about ants. So let me read you what it says here. How do ants spend their time? Look around your neighborhood or park for ants. These are social insects that live in colonies. So where you see one ant, you're likely to see many others. Spend some quiet time each day this week just watching them. Follow them with your eyes and observe how and where they walk. Each day, try to watch for a little bit longer, watching a single ant without losing it under a leaf or getting it confused with other ants takes intense concentration. Can you describe how ants act? Click on the activity button to access and print the behavior of ants worksheet. I'm going to put this in um, Shobi, but it should also be in your workbook. Complete the activity as you go through this lesson. At the end of the lesson, you can take a picture in Shobi and submit it to me. So let's see what this looks like. All right, so from what you observed, draw an ant's world in the box below. And on the next page, answer some questions. Okay, so here you draw your ant's world. And then you have some questions. But I think you have to go through the module first to answer them. All right, let's see what's next. The ant and the cricket. Watch and listen to this story about some hardworking ants and a cricket that enjoys singing. So go ahead and watch this. And I think this is the text to the story. All right, the ant. Why are queen ants so important to ant colonies? Watch this video and learn more about ants. In an ant colony, in the ant colony shown in this video, which ant is most important? Let's see if you can answer that correctly. Observing ants. What makes ants special? There are many interesting facts about ants. For example, did you know that ants can be found on every continent except Antarctica? An interesting fact about an ant body is that they don't include ears. Have you ever wondered why there are so many ants all over the world? For one reason, some queen ants can have millions of babies. Continue observing ants around your neighborhood or in your backyard. If you can get close enough, use a magnifying glass for a detailed view of ant activity. What do you see the ants doing? Despite their small size, ants can carry food and materials many times their weight. They are strong and versatile and work beautifully together as a community. We have much to learn from these creatures. Now it's time to record your observations about ants. Number one, how large is the area where you, where the ant conducted its activity during your observation? Draw the ant's world in your science main lesson book. What daily activities take place in the ant's world? What do the different ants in the colonies do? Do they have different jobs? Write a few sentences above the picture of the ants' world in the science main lesson book. What threats exist in the ants' world? How does the ant respond to these threats? Are there friendly are they there friendly creatures in the ants' world that can help it with its daily activities? What food does the ant eat? And how does it get food? Draw a picture of the ant's food. Write a few additional sentences in your science main lesson book. All right, can ants be pets? Would you like to have ants as pets? I wouldn't, I have enough in my house. You can buy an ant from a farm kit or you can make your own by following these steps below and building one yourself, how to build an ant farm. So number one, place a small cardboard tube into a jar. Fill it with dirt. 
Find an ant colony in a park or in your backyard. Use a plastic spoon to gently dig up enough ants and dirt to fill up the jar two to three inches from the top. Do not disturb the nest and avoid the colony entrance so as not to collapse it. You could also put sugar water in the jar. Leave it near the edge of a nest and the ants will come to you. Capture a queen ant. Queens have a much larger thorax and abdomen and are usually colored black. They will be located around a lot of eggs. Catching a queen can be difficult. Try checking under logs, stones, and in shallow ant hills. Be careful while you're doing this. Ants will defend their queen and try to bite you. Number four, get food for your ants, including tiny bits of fruit, vegetables, dead cockroaches, sugar water, honey, small breadcrumbs, bread dipped in sugar water, crackers, breadcrumbs with a drop of honey, or waffle syrup. Take care of the ants. Ants can go a little while without food, but they will die quickly without water, anywhere from overnight to a couple days. To water the ant farm, drop a cotton ball soaked in water into the jar. Your ant farm should be watered every day and kept in the shade. Number six, be careful. Don't move your jar too much. The dirt could settle and collapse the tunnels created by the ants. In your main lesson book, journal about your ant farm. How in your main lesson book journal about your ant farm, how do the ants build their home? How much do they carry? If you were an ant, what would you be able to carry? A cow? A car? After a few days, draw a picture of your ant farm in your main lesson book. How many tunnels have your ants created? What activities do the ants perform? So that is your lesson on ants in edgenuity.